It is a big temperature crash and it is underway across central and eastern Kentucky. That means snow will soon fill the air. We'll show you how much fall is coming up. New information is learned in a murder for hire plot in Pulaski County. Police say that the man wanted to hire someone for a little bit of cash, but a lot of drugs. And students at UK getting ready to dance for a cause. WKYT News starts now with First Alert Weather. Good evening to you. It has been a windy and wet Wednesday here in the bluegrass, and it looks like tonight we can expect the return of cold temperatures and maybe even snow. So we begin with WKYT Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey on this first alert severe weather day. Chris? Yeah, temperatures in the process of dropping, guys. It's a 30 degree drop for a lot of us across central and eastern Kentucky, and that's just in a matter of a few hours. Gusty winds ushering in colder weather, 43 mile per hour gusts over the past hour in Lexington, 41 miles per hour here in the Somerset. Those winds at times will be greater than 40 miles an hour, not only this evening, but through the day tomorrow. Tomorrow. You can see that cold air blasting its way on into town. 37 Fort Knox, 43 Lexington and Richmond, yet it's still upper 50s in the far eastern Kentucky. That cold air, though, surging on into town. You see the rain transitioning over to some snow into western Kentucky, starting to get reports of some snow along the Ohio River there uh, to the southwest of Louisville. Into eastern Kentucky, some gusty showers. Bluegrass region, yes, it's cold. It's a chilly shower action that we're seeing, but the snowflake action won't begin. Again until a few more hours. Look what's showing up here into Columbia, Adair County, Russell Springs, Jamestown, and up into Liberty there into Casey County. Defender Radar Network saying, yep, it's cold enough here for just a touch of some light rain or snows. And if you look closely, you can see some whites and pinks all the way into parts of the deep south. So the cold air is dumbbelling around that big area of low pressure, and it may come at us from an odd direction. That's right, your temperatures this evening will grow colder, guys, from southwest to northeast. That's normally a warmer flow, not when you have such a big storm system. Just ahead, we'll talk about how much slushy snow may fall where you live. That's in a little over 10 minutes. Thank you, Chris. And remember, you can get the latest radar, forecasts, and weather headlines on WKYT.com and the WKYT News app. As part of Severe Weather Awareness Week, a new outdoor warning siren went up today in Lexington. The siren is located at Picadome Pool off South Broadway. It's the 28th emergency siren in Fayette County. The sirens are used to inform people of severe weather like a tornado or another emergency. And they work quite effectively, but the thing to remember is these sirens are only designed to alert people who are outdoors. They were never intended here in Fayette County to alert people who are in the homes. The siren costs between $25 and $30,000 to install. The last one to be added in Fayette County was in 2010 downtown at police headquarters. Police say a southern Kentucky man accused of trying to hire a hitman was going to pay for the deed with a little bit of cash and a lot of drugs. 26-year-old Jordan Nicholas is accused of a murder for hire plot. He's arrested after police in Pulaski County say they recorded the offer. WKYT's Phil Pendleton has more now from Pulaski County. The case against Jordan Nicholas went down last Tuesday in a hotel room where a conversation with Jordan Nicholas was recorded, a conversation in which he talked about trying to hire someone to kill someone. The problem is, police say, is that the man that Jordan Nicholas wanted to hire was actually a cop. Police say when they learned of the alleged plot, they set up a conversation between Jordan Nicholas and the supposed hitman in a room at the Quality Inn on US 27 in Somerset. They say that's where Nicholas offered to pay the hitman, who was actually an undercover deputy sheriff. What was offered in, ex in exchange uh, to end someone's life? At the time of the transaction, it was $60 and two hydro codone pills. The detective said that Nicholas told them he believed the man he wanted dead was actually an informant, but police have since said that's not the case. Police say Nicholas gave no instructions on how the murder was to take place, only that it happened as soon as possible. When police told him he was under arrest for the plot, Nicholas told them he came clean on why he wanted the man dead. Tell the court what statements uh, he made to law enforcement. Um. He stated, he just completely stated he screwed up. That uh, during the interview, he told me that 
the individual was selling, the initially the reason they wanted him killed was because he was selling drugs to kids. Nicholas' mother was outside the courtroom. She said she really does not want to comment other than that she stands behind her son. Nicholas remains in jail on a $100,000 cash bond. In Pulaski County, Phil Pendleton, WKYT. The judge found probable cause, and the grand jury will be asked to consider charges of solicitation to commit murder. A man is behind bars after stealing more than $40,000 worth of gift cards. Our county by county coverage at 5:30 begins in Laurel County. 24-year-old Roy Branham Jr. was arrested just south of London last night. He's accused by his employer of using company credit cards to purchase prepaid gift cards and keeping some of those cards for himself. The business reported a total loss of about $43,000. Branham has been charged with theft of $10,000 or more. A high-speed chase in Warren County ended in a deadly crash. Police say 23-year-old Alexander Meter of Auburn died yesterday after his motorcycle crashed into an SUV driven by a deputy. Police say Meter led officers on a high-speed chase after running from a traffic stop. He was airlifted to a Nashville hospital after the crash and later died. And in Rowan County, work has started on a $10 million project to improve a stretch of highway. The project includes the rebuilding of Kentucky 519 with wider travel lanes and shoulders, upgraded pavement, and new bridges. The work will take place near the intersection with Highway 801. Construction will continue throughout the year with an expected completion date by the end of 2017. Two Fort Campbell soldiers have been arrested after police say they impersonated officers. Clarksville, Tennessee police say that Brett Jewell and William Jones pulled people over using flashing lights, badges, and a dispatch radio. Police say both men confessed in interviews after they were taken into custody. They are each charged with three counts of criminal impersonation. Dance Blue kicking off this weekend. It's a chance for University of Kentucky students to dance for 24 hours straight. But it's not just for the challenge. As our own Rebecca Smith explains, participants are hoping to do some good at the same time. UK freshman R.J. E. Alda fills all kinds of support roles at the University of Kentucky, including playing trumpet in the pep band. He's also on the morale committee for this year's Dance Blue, a 24-hour dance-a-thon that raises money and awareness for cancer. It's a cause close to R.J.'s heart. A month and a half into my freshman year of high school, um, I went to have that MRI and the CAT scan, and they said it was cancer. Dance Blue funding helps provide a social worker for each and every patient at the Dance Blue Kentucky Children's Hospital, Pediatric Hematology and Oncology Clinic. Typically, we try to meet with a family within 24 to 48 hours of diagnosis um, and just talk to them, hear their story, hear how we can best support them. Besides the medical and psychological support, social workers say the Dance Blue students provide another tool for patients, emotional support. It says to them that, hey, we, we can understand what you're going through. We care about you, and we're going to help you get through this. RJ completed his treatment there and has finally received some good news. They said I was, or all the tumors in my body were dormant, and I was essentially cancer free. In Lexington, Rebecca Smith, WKYT. All of the money raised through Dance Blue is donated to the Golden Matrix Fund, which works to support children of the Dance Blue Kentucky Children's Hospital Pediatric Clinic, along with donations to the Marquee Cancer Center. If you've been on an airliner recently, you know economy seats have become smaller over the years. And now airplane maker Airbus has filed a patent for a bench seat that can adapt to fit a variety of people. But designers in London have a much different idea. They've made a new seat with comfort in mind. No matter how much patience you pack, a long-haul flight in economy can leave you defeated. Now a group of London designers hopes to ease that pain with their twist on economy seating. It's just like the, your body. You've got this spine, so you do this, and the seat does this. Adam White, director of factory design, came up with the idea while on a long-haul flight to Japan. Four or five hours into the flight, I'm kind of doing this, and I, you know, t I'm twisting. The chair is almost like an exoskeleton. If you look at the back, you'll see what we mean. There's a spinal cord and then a rib cage that shifts with your every movement. The skeleton design will be padded and covered. White says the end result is a chair that adjusts to your body and is more comfortable to sit and even sleep in for long stretches of time. Original Concorde seat. 
White knows comfort. He began his company designing the last seats for British Airways Luxury Concorde. Several airlines have shown interest in the Twister, which takes up no more space than a typical economy seat. That's a big selling point as airlines try to jam more passengers on board their flights. And White hopes the Twister seat will take off within two years. Coming up on WKYT, arrangements have been announced for the funeral of Fayette County Board of Education Chairman John Price. I'm Bill Bryant. Some tough words from Senator Mitch McConnell about how the U.S. Senate would deal with a Supreme Court nominee. And presidential candidates start organizing in Kentucky ahead of the March 5th GOP caucus. Cold air surging into central and eastern Kentucky, and I'll show you when that means the snows begin to fly with an hour-by-hour -hour forecast in a moment. Stay connected to the news that matters to you. Like WKYT on Facebook. My name is Bob DeArmond. I've had an irregular heartbeat since 2007. In 2013, Bob took part in a clinical research trial where a cardiac ablation procedure corrected his atrial fibrillation or irregular heartbeat. As the nation's first hospital to receive AFib accreditation, our specialists help patients like Bob live healthier lives. I feel very, very blessed, and I lead a normal, active life. Philip Pratt, a proud grandfather, a loving and caring family man, a hardworking small business owner, someone who knows how to grow jobs and change the landscape in Frankfurt. Philip Pratt will hold government accountable responsibly, fight Obama's crippling government overreach on our agriculture economy, and preserve our Kentucky heritage in Owen and Scott County. On Tuesday, March 8th, vote Philip Pratt for state representative. You sure this thing is garbage? Look at it. Uh, it's not. It's not garbage. Um, Lift with uh, your knees. Uh, excuse me. Uh-oh. Better get Mako. For a limited time, take advantage of Mako's half-off paint sale. Mako, America's body shop. Value City Furniture presents how to get inspired. First, get inspired. Okay, that's not doing it. Go out. Look around. Shop the boutiques. Get up, Carl. Find something you love. When you're ready to buy, head to Value City Furniture, where you can always find furniture just like at the boutiques, but at prices that will make you much more comfortable. It's perfect. And that's how to buy the perfect piece at Value City Furniture. Home security can be easier than you think. Whether you're a first-time customer or you're unhappy with your current service, Bates simplifies security and makes switching your service to Bates easy. You keep your existing equipment and we do the rest. Switch your system today and get three months free monitoring. Recently named Central Kentucky Small Business of the Year. Bates Security, protecting what matters most. What do these women have in common? They are the staff of Ageless Medical Weight Loss. They've lost a combined 1,300 pounds. The team at Ageless will understand your struggles and celebrate your victories. For a medically supervised, affordable weight loss solution, call Ageless today for a free consultation. Keep up with the latest news on WKYT.com. Join the conversation on Twitter and become a part of the WKYT Facebook family. High winds across the area over the past 24 hours. Those winds continue for the next 24 hours. We've seen gusts so far this afternoon greater than 40 miles per hour into most of central and eastern Kentucky. That's a live sky cam that is just bouncing around out there. 50s into far eastern Kentucky getting ready to get wiped out. 40s into central Kentucky. We're wiping that out. Here come the 30s. It's colder now to our south. We just talked about that. Look at the number in the Somerset. Down to 37. London, just a few short minutes away at 45 degrees. That colder air is coming at you from the west and the southwest around that big area of low pressure that is just to the northeast now of Cincinnati. Starting to see the whites taking over into western Kentucky, and that is showing us where we have rain changing over to a period of wet snow. Defender Radar Network, let's start out in eastern Kentucky, where we've had a couple of claps of thunder on and off throughout the day, even had some pea-sized hail reports a little earlier today, right around the West Liberty area. In central Kentucky, rains increasing south of the BG Parkway. That's a little pink and some white starting to show up. That's how you know the atmosphere is now getting cold enough to produce at least a little bit of some light snows coming in from the Lake Cumberland area. High winds will continue to be threat number one. 
And this isn't a big threat we're talking about in terms of snow, but it is something kind of crazy considering it was 60 degrees just a few hours ago. Road temperatures are well above freezing as of now. So the travel impact on this, minimal, though watch, especially if that temperature does get a little below freezing tonight, as it should for a bridge or overpass to have a little slush on it. Cold conditions, yeah, not so much. This isn't a very cold system. It's seasonally cold, but the numbers compared to where we were continue to drop. By 11 o'clock, most areas are into the low 30s, right at 32 degrees with a band of snow from northwest to southeast that will set up shop right on through the morning tomorrow into the afternoon as well with a lot of temperatures into the mid 30s. And then tomorrow night and Friday, that northwesterly flow continues to be with us. We could see a little freeze up on some of the roads Friday morning where they skip a snow, maybe with a snow shower or flurry even into the first part of our Friday. What are we talking about tonight and tomorrow? Not a lot. Coatings to an inch or two on a local scale. This will be wet snow. Ground is warm still. It was 60 earlier today, so a lot of melting is going to take place. But can we uh, at least cover a rooftop? Cover the grass. Yes, we can do that. Temperatures drop to freezing this evening. Rain changing the snow from west to east. This isn't a snowstorm. This isn't a big deal for the overall snow. It's just how crazy this storm is. With high winds, thunder, lightning, heavy rain, 60s and now snow. That'll continue through tomorrow. And by the way, tonight and tomorrow, you're still going to have the winds that can crank to 40 miles per hour or a little better as we go into our Thursday. Here's that extended forecast. Friday is still cold, though this time of year you get these cold shots. They don't have the staying power as to what you would see in the heart of winter time. We're closing in on March. March begins in that seven day forecast, by the way. Yay, March. Mm -hmm. Temperatures uh, this weekend will rebound 50 and 60, respectively, Saturday and Sunday. Good to know this mess won't cause us too many problems. Yeah, it, well, watch a bridge or overpass later tonight. That, that should be the only major travel impact I see. Good deal. Thanks, Chris. All right. Live look at Lexington rush hour traffic, and so far traffic flow looking looking okay. We've, of course, you have delays on South Lime and also leaving Richmond Road, or Richmond Road approaching the Circle toward Patchen. There's a crash at New Circle and Golden Way. Uh, that is a non-injury collision that has one lane blocked at New Circle and Golden Way. The police are working drive times. That collision not impacting things so much. Uh, right now, 13 minutes or so to Nicholas still. Uh, to Winchester on 64, nothing unusual happening, and we're okay toward Versailles Road. Now back to the studio. The presidential race will soon make its way here to the bluegrass. And Senator Mitch McConnell is holding fast in his refusal to confirm a Supreme Court nominee under President Obama. Bill Bryant has that story and more in today's Bottom Line. Good evening. We are 10 days out from Kentucky's Republican presidential caucus, and state party leaders now say some candidates are getting organizations in place, but the spotlight won't be fully shifting here until after the Super Tuesday contests coming up next week. Donald Trump rolled up another victory last night in the Nevada caucuses, and he boldly predicted he may have the Republican nomination locked up within two months. It was the fourth straight Republican contest to see a record turnout. Trump got more votes than second and third place finishers Marco Rubio and Ted Cruz combined. But both predict better results come Super Tuesday. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, who has represented Kentucky and Washington since 1985, says there isn't a snowball's chance in hell that he will yield in opposing any Supreme Court nominee put forth by President Obama. Politico reports McConnell made his comments at a meeting that he requested with some House Republicans. McConnell and Senate Judiciary Chairman Charles Charles Grassley say there will be no hearings, no vote, and they won't even meet with Obama's pick to replace the late conservative Justice Antonin Scalia. In Frankfurt, the issue of large lots being taxed as farmland, even when they're set for development, is a hot topic after a Herald Leader investigation. State Representative Ruth Ann Palumbo of Lexington is having legislation drafted to close the loophole that lets land that is considered agricultural to have property tax shaved down to a fraction. A Herald Leader analysis shows 841 parcels in Fayette County of 10 acres or more have had their taxes reduced by a cumulative $183 million. Fayette County Schools would get $1.4 million more if those parcels were taxed at the fair cash value. Harrodsburg voters decided to expand alcohol sales in the historic town. McCrary and Adair counties will hold wet, dry elections next month. Bill Bryant, WKYT. 
Funeral arrangements have been announced today for John Price. Price served as the chairman of the Fayette County Board of Education since 2003. He died yesterday after battling leukemia for the last two years. Visitation will be held tomorrow at Millward Funeral Directors on North Broadway from 3 to 8 p.m. The funeral will be Friday at St. Peter Catholic Church at 1.30, and Price will be buried at Bluegrass Memorial Gardens. Well, for the UK Women's Senior Night coming up tomorrow night, Rob. And the Cats have only one senior. We will hear from Janae Thompson, who has given a lot to the program. And Tyler Eulis just keeps playing and drawing praise. He reached a school record last night. That's next in school. He needs his victims to allow him into their homes. FBI. What if he's one of us? New criminal minds. In the season finale of Ven. Hey, you stop! What are you doing? Code Black is flat out the best medical drama. Are you crazy? In ages. Out of center stage! Simply put, it's very, very good. I killed someone. Code Black, season finale, after Criminal Minds new CBS Tonight. More! 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 We have more flights to more of the places you want to go every single day. See for yourself. Visit us today. I grabbed my lipstick. Hey, what are you doing? Getting the coats. For a half hour? Bob just got Time Warner Cable. He's getting more. More what? More than 30,000 movies and shows on demand, most for free. Look, he's DVRing like six shows at once. Let's go. Oh, this grass is so much greener than on our TV. Wear your shoes off. Because I'm on their bed. I don't want to be rude. Discover how much more is included. Are those meatballs still circulating? Switch to Time Warner Cable today and ask how you could get a $300 reward card. They say life gets better the older you get, and time becomes more valuable. Time to spend with family, time to try new things, time to have fun. At Kroger, you can have your prescriptions filled while you shop, so it's easy to save money and time with your Kroger Pharmacy. And you can get back to the things you love. Be heart smart. Your Kroger pharmacist can help you understand your heart health numbers, your medications, and so much more. See your Kroger pharmacist today. We hid cameras in two different cars, the Chevy Equinox with built-in 4G LTE Wi-Fi and the Ford Escape without. Chocolate chip, chocolate chip. Keep your legs down. Okay, now put your leg down. Chevrolet is the first and only car company to bring built-in 4G LTE Wi-Fi to cars, trucks, and crossovers. Current qualified GM lessees can get this Chevy Equinox for around $199 a month. See your Kentucky Select Chevy dealers. Kentucky schools are not failing. We can't be failing if more students are graduating from high school, more students are making proficient advance in the state mandated testing. We have successes in our school every single day. Whether students love or hate science, I'm going to work with them to make sure that they get what they need from my class to be successful once they leave my class. Come see the awesome work our students are doing and you'll see success. Ever take a whiff of a smoker's hair? You're smelling contamination that remains after the cigarette is out. Smokers actually emit very harmful toxins from clothing, hair, and skin, even if they no longer smell like it. Think about that and pay attention to everyone who picks up your child. If you've been injured in an accident, your injuries can last a long time, even a lifetime. Visit ForThePeople.com. Morgan & Morgan. For the people. Get WKYT news and weather updates on Mix 94.5. Whenever Tyler Eulis does something special, it should not come as any surprise. But he was at it again last night, accomplishing something that no other Kentucky point guard had ever accomplished before. As far as Tyler Eulis was concerned, he really didn't think it was one of his better games. Um, I don't rate him, but I, don't, I wouldn't say that was one of my better games. Uh, I didn't shoot it as good as I wanted to, missed a couple free throws. But other than that, I think I played all right overall. Tuesday night, Tyler scored 19 points and dished out 10 assists. It was his fifth double-digit assist game of the season, breaking the UK record held by Kyle Macy, Roger Harden, and John Wall. Here's a guy that put on a show when Cal got thrown out of the game against South Carolina. He's, a, you know, he's a coach's dream, man, and um, you know he he his double-double speaks volumes. 
he controls the game. We only had four turnovers today. I mean, you think about that. And we're playing fast, and we're being aggressive, and we're moving the ball. We had four turnovers. He can do everything. Now, when I was playing in the NBA, it was guys like Spud Webb and Muggsy Bogues. But, you know, he's, he's much better than those guys offensively. He's a guy that his middle game, like he can make that stuff. Uh, probably got to be a little more consistent with the three, which he will be. He is only listed at 5'9". He's been told all along he's too small. Eulis doesn't deny he plays with a chip on his shoulder. Definitely, because, you know, there's still people out there who doubt me, a lot of doubters, so you know, that's something that motivates me, and I just go out there and play. And next up for the Cats, back on the road, Vanderbilt at Memorial Gym, Saturday, 4 o'clock, right here on WKYT. And immediately following the game, Wildcat wrap up all the highlights and post-game reaction only on your home for U.K. sports right here on WKYT. The U.K. women begin SEC tournament play next week. The Wildcats still do not know where they're seated. And that means the final two regular season games are extremely important, beginning with Missouri tomorrow night. Point guard Janae Thompson is the only player going through senior night. She said the goal for the women is to win out and play well in Jacksonville. We want to make a, 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 a good run in that tournament. We think we can win it. We think... Um, we've been working on the right things to uh, get better and win that tournament, and then winning that will put us in an even better position in the NCAA tournament. Coming up in the next half hour, the return of Alex Poitras, and we'll hear from UK great Vern Hatton, a special honor last night. Stay with us here on WKYT.